Hi, I'm Esther from the Yorkshire Garden School and I'm bringing you this video today as part of Harrogate Lockdown Fest. So we're in this insane situation at the moment with COVID-19 having shut down the whole world and we can't go out and celebrate the bank holiday weekend in the way that we normally would. So the fantastic people at Harrogate Lockdown Fest had the brilliant idea of bringing you loads of free entertainment direct into your homes all bank holiday weekend from businesses across Harrogate and hopefully in the process, raising plenty of money for the fantastic Harrogate Hospital and Community Charity, which is a wonderful charity raising money for equipment and resources beyond what the NHS can provide for patients at Harrogate Hospital. So here at Yorkshire Garden School, we're a group of gardeners, garden designers and other garden professionals who love what we do and want to share our expertise and experience with you so that you can also learn about all things gardening. You found us here at our YouTube channel, Yorkshire Garden School, for our first tutorial but do head over to our website as well, yorkshiregardenschool.co.uk, to see what else is coming up. So for our first tutorial today, we're going to be learning about how you can divide plants so that you can get more plants for free. And this is a technique that you can use on many of your garden plants, but for today we're going to be practicing on some supermarket basil. So this is a pot of basil that I bought from the supermarket, and I'm sure you're all familiar with these little pots of living herbs that they sell. They don't only sell basil, um, they sell many other types, but the technique that we're using today is suitable for any of the herbs which put on this soft growth, what we call herbaceous growth. And if I just take this out of its plastic packet so that you can see better, you can see that coming direct out of the compost here, we've got a soft herbaceous stem. And actually each of these stems has come from a single seed. So in other words, there were many seeds put into this pot and they've all grown into little individual basil plants. Now the reason that the supermarkets put so many seeds in a pot is so that they very quickly get this kind of bushy effect which makes the consumer think, oh fantastic, a lovely bushy basil plant. But actually the consequence of doing that is that all of these little individual seedlings in this pot will very quickly outgrow their space, consume all the nutrients in the pot and start to look a little bit sad. I'm sure we're all familiar with the yellowing basil plant that we've had sitting on the kitchen windowsill that we eventually chuck out and replace with a nice new one. So what we're going to be doing today is giving all of these little seedlings their own chance at life by dividing this up into at least three, possibly four plants, depending on how they come apart. And this is a technique that you can use, as I say, on many herbaceous plants and certainly on many of these little pots of herbs. So any of the ones that have this soft herbaceous growth coming directly out of the compost, things like parsley, coriander, or the other basil that you commonly find, which is the Greek basil, which has much smaller leaves, any of those will work for this technique. And I do encourage you to try it because you get so many more plants um, very, very quickly for the same money as you paid for the single pot. So for this tutorial, what you're going to need is uh, your pot of herbs, some potting compost, um, any kind will do, but ideally you would get peat-free compost if you can find it. I know that it's hard to get hold of any kind of compost at the moment in lockdown, but in general um, we should all be trying to use peat-free compost because um, the digging up of peat bogs uh, for use in, in gardening is causing all sorts of havoc, the loss of, of valuable habitats and also um, contributing to, to climate change. So um, do try and find uh, peat-free compost if you can. And then you just need some little pots. Uh, I happen to have some that are around the same size as the pot that uh, we've already got. If you don't have any pots, and again, I know they can be hard to get hold of at the moment, then any receptacle that you've got in your recycling bin will do. Big yogurt pots make a, make a good receptacle. So um, be a bit inventive if you can. And then we're literally just going to take the plant and take it out of its pot, as it is at the moment. So the um, easiest way to do that is to hold it on its side, give it a little bit of a squeeze around the bottom, and you can see that you just uh, take it out just like that. And you can see all those roots all wrapped around. It would be easy to think that was one plant, but it's really not. It's, it's several plants. So what we're going to do now, and you can... Um, you can use a, a tool for this if you want to, but um, you know your thumbs and, and fingers will do the job just as well, is you're just gonna gently tease the plant apart. And in that process, you are tearing the roots a little bit, but that's okay. 
Um, the hardest thing really is separating out the leaves sometimes, they can get a bit tangled up together. Um, so now we've got um, we've got that in, in two parts and I think um, we can easily separate that into uh, another two bits. So we can see almost a perfect place to divide it there, let's see if it does split along that along that uh, point. We have two nice healthy sections there and again we're going to do that with this one. Perfect. So then when you've got your four little plants like that all you want to do um, we can take the pot that we have just emptied if we want to start with that is we take a, a handful of compost, small handful and just enough so that you're filling the bottom of the pot. Remember these pots are not so deep so you just want to put a tiny bit in the bottom of the pot then we take the uh, the little basil plant that we've just created and hold it in position with your right hand while you scoop compost in to the gaps around the plant with your other hand and you can see that I'm I'm quite over filling this pot I'm being quite generous but I'm packing it loosely you always want to remember that one of the key ingredients of compost is actually air so you don't want to pack it in too tightly or the or the plant roots won't have any access to air so now I've overfilled that like that I'm just taking my my index finger and my thumb on both hands and I'm just positioning them around the base of the plant and pushing them in like that and then I give it a little tap brush off any excess and there we have a basil plant. So I'll do that with the others. Now here we have a plant which is going to be a little bit probably too deep for that pot. So I'm just going to tear off the bottom of the plant doesn't affect the plant in any way um, or should I say several plants you can see there are still five plants in this bunch doesn't affect it to do that um, in fact it will probably stimulate a bit of root growth so now I'm just going to pop it in again and you can see it fits much better into the pot So there we've got four plants where we just had the one and uh, they'll grow and get to be just as big and bushy as the one that we had in the beginning and they'll be a lot happier for having all of this extra compost and uh, space for their roots in, in these pots. If you wanted to you could have potted that into a slightly bigger pot um, so as I say a yoghurt pot, big yoghurt pot would be ideal for that. Do remember to put drainage in any pots that you've got that were not designed for the purpose. So these obviously have um, drainage holes in the bottom. So please do make sure you provide that. One thing basil really hates is having what we call a wet neck. Uh, so the wet neck is just the point where the, where the plant uh, stem meets the compost. They hate that. So do water them from below. They also really hate having wet feet. Uh, in other words, having their roots sitting in water. So the best thing you can do with these basil plants now is put them on a saucer, fill the saucer with water and let them take a drink. And if they've still got water in the saucer after an hour or so, then chuck it away and give them another drink tomorrow in the same way. So always watering basil from below. And the other thing it's worth remembering about basil is that it really doesn't like to get cold. Even at the best of times in the UK, even in the warmest days, it probably really would prefer to be indoors, especially at night. So don't rush to put it out of doors, especially not this cold bank holiday weekend. And the other thing I wanted to show you was um, uh, two plants. So this is the one that we've just uh, potted on and this is one that I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and as you can see it's grown enormously in that time in fact it's nearly as big as the pot that we took apart in the first place so you can see how well 
worthwhile it is. I've got four of these and four of these, so I'll be in Basel uh, really all summer, you can see. So that's it for our first tutorial from the Yorkshire Garden School. As I say, please do check out our website, yorkshiregardenschool.co.uk, for more tutorials coming up. And please do give generously to the Harrogate Hospital and Community Charity if you've enjoyed Harrogate Lockdown Fest. The organisers have put a huge amount of effort into this and the contributors have been more than happy to do so. So please, if you can support us by donating generously, that would be much appreciated. The link is available on the Harrogate Lockdown Fest website and hopefully I've posted some information below as well. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.